my channel. So today I wanted to film a kind of pack with me slash spring break haul. I guess you could say we're getting into the end of spring break time, I would say. But I am going on a cruise to Jamaica, Haiti, and Mexico on Sunday, which this video will probably be up around then. But I really hope you guys enjoy this. I first want to start off with just showing you guys everything that I got that is new for my trip. I usually like to get certain new things for my trip and like new bathing suits and stuff. It just makes it more fun. I don't really like to pack like all old stuff. It's just fun to get new clothes, I guess. Let me know down below in the comments if you're the same exact way. And then I'm going to just like show you how I pack and like my essentials and everything for like a week long trip or anything like that. So. Let's just jump right into the haul. I found a lot of cute stuff at Forever 21, you guys. Sometimes it's either a hit or miss for me at Forever 21. Sometimes I hate everything in there. And, well, this time I really loved a lot of the things. I got this really cute, like, embroidered, dainty, like, doily, I guess, type dress. And it's just black. It has, like, a corset type thing going down the center and then it just has like the ruffles at the bottom. I thought this would be really really cute just to throw on like during the day on like one of the islands or anything like that. So yeah, I really really liked this. It's just like super simple and it's really really cheap just like everything at Forever 21. This was, let me see, only $32.90. So actually that's a little bit pricier for Forever 21 but I believe that's their like festival collection. Next, I also, from Forever 21, I got this really cute banana leaf type dress. It's really flowy and flattering. It has like this tie around belt on it. I thought it was really cute. It's off the shoulder and it has like these very flowy sleeves as well. And this was $22.90. I got this in a size medium and I also got that other black dress in a size medium as well. I'm going to have everything linked down below for you guys if you'd like to purchase. These are all, I just got these like a couple days ago so they should all still be on the website so this is all new stuff and I believe they got like a bunch of new stuff in too if you guys want to check their website out or go to your local Forever 21 because they have really cute stuff right now so I also from Forever 21 this is so different and pretty I think this is like my favorite thing that I got so let's see if you guys can see it so it's this like very pretty like pinstripe rainbowy colored maxi dress and it's a wrap dress as well so it ties all the way around and you just wrap it and it's kind of low cut and just super flowy and so pretty it's just like these colors are so vibrant and so awesome just for like a vacation and it's just so summery and pretty I also got this in a size medium and this was $29.90 so again super cheap and I love 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 that dress and I guess I was really feeling the pinstripes because I got this similar dress but it's a total different style and it's like different colors but it's still striped and it's just kind of baggy on the top and then it's like a mid length dress it's really cute. It's got like this black and burnt orange, light pink, cream, white. Like I love this color mixture together. I also got this in a size medium and it was $24.90. So I love this just for like dinner or during the day, walking around, shopping. I thought that was so cute. So I also got these shorts from Forever 21. So these I got in a size medium and they were $17.90. So they're just these high-waisted like black, I think. Yeah, they're black polka dot shorts they have like this little tie belt around so you can make it a little bit tighter and I just thought this would be really cute with like a white bodysuit and some cute flip flops just for walking around and stuff so I love like dressy shorts that's like a staple for me in my collection because I don't wear jean shorts as I've mentioned a million times so like dressy cute summery shorts like that are so up my alley so I had to get those from Forever 21 also, some, I should just call this a Forever 21 haul, but I got this really cute bathing suit and it's in a size medium as well and it's $24.90. You guys, I'm obsessed with this. So it's this one piece bathing suit. It's very, very low cut in the front and it has these gorgeous like cherry blossom pink trees all over it and then in the back I thought this was really cute. It has like this kind of strap across it just to add some more detail. It's so, so flattering on. It fits perfect. I'm obsessed with it. And it looks so good with a tan. And I would know that because I just thought missing tanning because I was so sick of being so freaking pale because I live in Michigan and it's winter forever, I guess. Um, but that is so cute and I'm obsessed with that. So they still have that as well. 
The other bathing suit I got, this is from Lily Pulitzer. If you guys didn't know, Lily came out with a swim line, which I was so excited because if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love Lily Pulitzer. So I got this gorgeous blue and turquoise and hot pink one piece as well. I'm really into one pieces just because I'm not feeling like my body's 100% ready to be in bikinis the entire week, but of course I'm still going to pack some because of the tan lines and stuff like that. But anyways, plus one pieces are really in style right now. So I got this gorgeous one piece. It's completely crisscrossed in the front all the way down. So it's still, although it is a one piece, it's still like really flattering and really trendy and beautiful. It has like this gold hardware on the back so you can make it tighter or short, or tighter or looser. And then it also has this crisscross low cut back as well. And I mean, Lily is always a little bit more pricey. This was $138. I got this in a size small so this one actually fit me perfectly I thought I was gonna need a bigger size so a size small I believe that is their size two so this is gorgeous I'm obsessed with it and then also from Lily I got this beautiful beautiful cover-up that I was obsessed with I saw in the catalog and as soon as they launched a Lily swim I saw this cover-up and I immediately fell in love with it because it is so pretty. I'm obsessed with the color. It's just this pretty like flowy dress and then it has like the ruffles on the bottom and the ruffles on the sleeves as well. And then when you turn it around it has like these gorgeous green tassels and then you can also tie it with these tassels to make it a little bit tighter. I'm obsessed with this. It's a really really stretchy material. I think it's going to look beautiful with a tan and I can't wait to wear it. So I also got this in a size extra small and this is also $138. So I tend to get extra smalls at Lily just because they do run pretty big. So I usually go like down a size as I normally would. Usually I'll be a medium in other stores but usually wear extra smalls in Lily's and that actually fits Perfect. I wanted it to be a little shorter. That's why I got the extra small as opposed to the size small because I didn't want it to be like to my knees. I wanted it to be like cute and flowy, like mid thigh length, you know, with me. Okay, so jumping into accessories, which I'm really excited about. I got these super cute shoes from Manic. And you can probably find them online. I know it is a Michigan store if you don't live in Michigan, but they're just these really cute suede nude-ish pink heels and they have like the diamonds all around the cuff and they fit perfectly. I got these in a size six and a half. I love these shoes. I think they're gonna look so cute. They're not that high of a heel so they're not gonna be like super uncomfortable to wear and they're actually really really cute. These shoes that I'm also obsessed with they are also from Manic. They're the same kind of color nude. I also got these in a six and a half and they look like this. They have these gorgeous bows on them and they're like a jelly type rubbery sandal. So really comfortable and cute. And they have like the diamonds in the middle of the bow. And I just thought these would be really cute just to throw on at the pool or walking around or anything like that. I really needed a pair of nude suit, nude shoes. I really needed a pair of nude shoes. So that's why I got those and they fit really good. I got these really cute Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar earrings, and these were $12.99. These are kind of like the Bobble Bar, well, they're not kind of like, they are the Bobble Bar for a Target line, and they're so, so cute. I thought these would look really, really good with, like, that black dress, or just to dress up, like, with a, like, a nice ponytail and, like, some cute statement earrings. I thought those are really cute and, like, vacation-y. And then I also got these pink little ball earrings. I'm sure you guys have seen these ever, but... These were only $12.99 and I believe I saw these at Express, I saw them on Bobble Bar and they're way more expensive so they have them at Target for half the price and I thought they're so cute and they match all my outfits like really really good. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed all the things that I got and now let's jump into the pack with me and I'm going to show you guys how to pack perfectly for a week long trip and not to overpack, well a little bit. So before I begin loading up my luggage and packing, I like to go through my closet and pull out all of the things that I plan on bringing. Now when I'm ready to begin, I like to take out a pair of black shoes, white shoes, and nude shoes. That way I cover all the basic color bases that pretty much match everything. And I like to put these on the bottom of my luggage. That way I consume the most room and I also don't put the dirty shoes on top of my clothes. And then I like to put my bathing suits on the top of my luggage. 
Now I'm going to need some crossbody bags. Those are just the easiest for vacations. And as you can see, I have a lot of bathing suits up there. I like to bring a different bathing suit for each day. I also have some going out outfits, some casual day outfits like this dress. And then I like to bring a pool bag with me or a beach bag, if you will. I like to put all of my things in here when I go to the beach or the pool. And I would definitely recommend a waterproof phone case such as this and some sunscreen as well. And I like to lay that right on top of the shoes and then on top of that I'm going to put all my clothes. Then you also don't forget to bring an airport outfit. I like to pull this out and leave this outside of my luggage. That way I know that's what I'm wearing to the airport. I like to bring some sunglasses obviously. And then I'm going to throw all my clothes in there. And my favorite tip is to bring a garbage bag for all of your dirty clothes. That way you can separate it and not throw them on your clean clothes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one.